All right, the Mirage, Las Vegas. If you like Encore and if you like Wynn, you may like the Mirage because this is Steve Wynn's first hotel. He later sold it to fund his other ventures, but its influence here is very apparent. It's got a dolphin habitat, one of the coolest attractions on the strip, this volcano attraction, some amazing restaurants. It's really dark, cool, and trendy inside. I am so excited to be back. So excited that for this trip, I booked a King Tower Suite. Let's go check it out. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, The Mirage, Las Vegas. Okay, inside the room at the Mirage. I proclaimed this trip to be the most epic Vegas trip ever. I was wondering when things were going to get epic because my hotel rooms thus far haven't been the greatest. Things just got epic. Take a look at this room. This is a one bedroom king tower suite and it keeps on going and going and going and going. There's even more back there. I'll show you that in a second. I'm gonna do a very abridged room rundown I could easily spend 20 to 30 minutes on this room. So what I'm gonna do is keep things very short and I'll probably do a standalone video where I go over all the details, what I paid, and all the specifics of this King Tower suite. Double doors leading into the room. You know you're doing it great when you have double doors leading into your hotel room. It opens up to a large, vast, wide open, spacious living room and formal dining room. As we flip back around here, you got your mini bar, two cool looking bar stools, wet bar back there if you wanna do some proper entertaining. And of course, you got your mini bar tucked away there in the corner. All right, let's check out this bedroom. Double doors, again, leading into this room as well. Cute little love seat right there. If you didn't want to leave the privacy of your bedroom in the morning, you could get some work done on that. Let's check out this bed. Oh, ultra firm, ultra springy. I think I'm gonna like it. I'll report back on that. Oh, and before I move on into the bathroom, you have one of these TVs that elevate from the cabinet. I've never had one of these in my hotel room before, so I think that is really cool. All right, here's the bathroom. You have your shower, you have your tub. It looks like it's aerated with some jacuzzi jets. Definitely gonna spend some time in there. Dual vanity, secure products, which I love. Put those to good use for sure. Large closet, couple robes back there. And then you have a dedicated makeup spot right here. So much space in this bathroom. And to finish up, you have a dedicated toilet room. This shuts for the utmost privacy. You have your toilet and a bidet little art on the wall. So that is it for my initial room rundown. Again, I'll make a separate video that goes over all the details, including what I paid for it. So if you wanna know more, check out that video. For now, I gotta get to this experience. You know I'm gonna find the best food, the best drinks, I'm gonna walk around, find the coolest stuff, maybe play a little slots, go to the pool, and who knows what else I'm going to get into.
Okay, today was my first official day at the Mirage, and guess what I did? Absolutely nothing. I slept all day, it's about 6 p.m. right now, and that's because I had such an epic night last night. I wanna tell you about it very quickly, and then I wanna let you know what I have left for the remainder of this trip. So the volcano attraction outside the Mirage I think is the best attraction in Vegas. Better than the Bellagio Conservatory, better than the Bellagio Fountains, better than the Eiffel Tower, better than the High Roller, better than anything at Wynn, better than anything at the Venetian. It is so cool. I saw it at 9 p.m. and I didn't really have the best spot. So I waited around for an hour for the next show to start at 10 p.m. I got the best spot right in front of the Mirage and I loved every second of it. If you are in Vegas, you have to check out the volcano attraction here at the Mirage. I also had an epic dinner. The epic theme continues. I'm gonna make a very bombastic statement right now, and I think Otoro, which is where I ate last night, and I love the name because Otoro is my favorite cut of sushi. I think it's the best sushi place in Vegas. I had my best sushi meal there, so I think it's probably the best sushi place. Again, I know that's probably gonna be really inflammatory, but I just call it like it is. It's better than Ketch, better than Zuma, uh, better than Nobu, better than Moromoto, and better than Yellowtail by Akira Back. I had seven, eight dishes, maybe nine, a couple of drinks. There's too much to talk about, so I'm probably gonna make a standalone video. But let's just say for now that Otoro here at the Mirage is the coolest. So right now I'm off to dinner. Like I said, it's 6 p.m. I am planning on going to Heritage Steakhouse here on site. After that, I'm going to try to sniff out a good slot in the high stake slot room. Wish me luck on that. Good morning. I have my signature coconut here. I have the Mirage one today. I think I've had one of these at every single hotel I've been to, or almost every single one. So why break tradition now? This is gonna be my breakfast, and this is definitely gonna replace some electrolytes that I lost last night. It was a, another late night, another 3 a.m. night. But hey, just trying to take advantage of this amazing experience thus far at the Mirage. It's been nothing short of legendary. And I'm gonna keep that going today because today I have one of the most iconic pools to visit in Vegas, and that's the Mirage Pool. I'm talking about their standard pool. I'm not talking about Bear, which is their 21 plus um, specialized pool, but the Mirage Pool is pretty miraculous. It has a waterfall, it's huge, it's expansive, it's gorgeous, it's, uh, it's legendary. Okay, so before I get to the pool today and have some fun in the sun, I wanna talk about my night last night. I went to Heritage Steak, it's the on-site steakhouse. Um, that and Ortoro are the two best restaurants on site. And what makes Heritage special is that they have wood-fired steaks. They have an open kitchen and you can see that wood fire burning. And I actually had a steak last night. I've been violating my anti-steak policy here in Vegas. Again, the reason I had a steak is because the menu was ultra limited. I tried to pick around the menu and find some delicious dishes and I did. I had octopus for the first time, thought it was okay. It was interesting, I don't know if I'd have it again or not, maybe under the right scenario, but that's how hard I worked to find amazing dishes and there was nothing left, so I ended up getting the prime rib and it was extraordinary. I can't believe it. If you're coming here, you have to get the prime rib. I just can't explain it. It was the best prime rib I've ever had. It wasn't the best steak I ever had, but it was the best prime rib I've ever had. The thing was over an inch thick, I'd say maybe an inch and a half, cooked perfectly. It was just out of this world. And it came with one of my favorite items, and that's how I knew I had to order it. It came with a side of Yorkshire pudding. I was feeling pretty good after the meal, and I thought I'd go continue that momentum and press my luck in a high stakes slot machine, and I lost all my money. I lost 50 bucks within like 65 seconds. And the reason I lost was probably because I did not wear my lucky jacket. 
I've only won in that jacket. I've actually only won once, and I happen to be in that jacket. So that is it for my morning update. I'm going to finish this delicious coconut nectar, get to the pool, and I'll see you in the morning for my final check-in. Right, another day and another coconut. Quick coconut tip for you. Yeah, I'm giving coconut hacks now. These all cost the same, but not all of them are created equal. There are larger ones, smaller ones, some have more liquid in them and some have less liquid in them. So if you want one of these, you know, sort around a little bit and find a good one because you don't want to get a dud. All right, final few minutes here at the Mirage. This trip has culminated and culminated in such an epic fashion. I love this entire stay, before I get to my overall rating and before I tell you about the room, I do want to tell you about what I did yesterday. I went to the pool and the pool was exceptional. It was exactly how I remembered it. Again, I think it's one of the best standard pools in Vegas. It was really large and it was really sprawling. There was seating everywhere, but that seating fills up very, very quickly. I highly recommend getting there right at open. If you come an hour after open or two hours after open and you're not alone, you may not find a place to sit down. I was alone and had a difficult time finding a place to sit down, and this is during a weekday. So be advised, there are some little crannies and crevices that you can maybe find a chair in, but they're really spotty. So get there early, right at open, or maybe even before open, if you want a decent spot to marinate by the pool all day. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Let me start with the room, and then I'm gonna talk about my grade for the overall entire property. This room was tremendous in value. It exceeded my expectations. For what you get over what you pay, I can't recommend one of these tower suites enough. Usually I talk about my favorite part of the room. In this room, every part of the room was my favorite part. The sprawling, large, expansive bathroom. The secluded private bedroom with an amazing bed. This large entertainment room with formal dining, a huge U couch, the TV with the sound bar where you can plumb your music through the entire place, and of course, the mini bar wet bar, which is perfect for entertaining. The only thing this room is lacking, which you usually find in rooms this size, is a secondary bathroom. You've seen the secondary bathroom in my Delano video, in my Venetian video, basically in a lot of my videos. I can't believe there isn't a secondary bathroom in here because this place is so large and because it is set up for entertaining. All right, so the property. Let's get to the property. This hotel is aged well. It appeals to pretty much everyone. It has a ton of features and attractions such as the volcano exhibit and the dolphin aquarium an amazing pool. The hotel isn't too small or too large. It's perfectly sized. Its location is right across from Venetian Palazzo. It's walkable to Caesar's Palace. It's really just a phenomenally well done property. I talked about my dining experiences. I love them both. The restaurants were excellent. The casino floor is dark and it's cool and it's trendy. It has an air of luxury, but it's also casual and approachable. And most importantly, I think this hotel could appeal to everyone. I see families, I see young couples, I see old couples, I see groups, I see weddings. This hotel is so versatile and so malleable, it can appeal and satisfy pretty much any demographic. After coming back to this property after six years, I really could be more amazed. I like it more now than ever, and again, this hotel is aged very well. In fact, it hasn't aged at all. So how am I going to rate this hotel? I'm going to rate this hotel a four. It's a definite. Off the top of my head, I believe, and this is just straight from recall, that I gave a four rating to also Caesar's Palace and to also Aria. So I hold this hotel in very high esteem and put it in very, very good company. If you're looking for a change of pace, if you're looking for a new hotel, maybe you're tired of Aria, maybe you're tired of Wynn Encore, maybe you're sick of the Cosmo and you're looking for something a little different, but really don't want to sacrifice the luxury, quality, or service, I implore you to check out the Mirage. I promise you won't be disappointed. I can't wait to come back. It would be very difficult to come back to a standard suite, but I have stayed in the standard suites before and they are really nice as well. This tower suite was the cherry on top. I'd still rate this hotel a four, even if I did not stay in this tower suite, but the tower suite has just punctuated this trip. I can't wait to come back, but it's gonna be a little while because I'm on to the next hotel and I'll see you in that video.